Brock here at Roger Gardening. Today I'm going to give you a quick beginner's guide to cloud pruning using some Ilix Crenata or Japanese holly. I will start by just explaining the basic concepts of cloud pruning. I will then go through how you start from the very beginning with a very small tree um, and then some things that are a little bit more advanced but uh, I'm not going to go too far today. Anyway, let's begin. So first and foremost, what is cloud pruning? In Japanese gardens, if you've watched any of my previous videos, you'll know that the primary aim of a Japanese garden is to recreate a landscape. As a result, within a landscape there are often old trees. So, if I show you just quickly an old tree near my property here, um, this will hopefully begin to explain why we cloud prune. Here is an example of an old Scots pine. What's interesting is if you look halfway up the tree, what you'll see are these branches that are weighed down by these pads that have been created and then curl up with the new growth at the end of the pad. It is this that only occurs in an old tree as the new young growth otherwise will grow vertically upwards and not out in order to capture the sunlight and then not be weighed down until they get older. And it's this aging effect that you're trying to recreate when cloud pruning. Now that you've seen what an old tree looks like and what effect we're trying to recreate, let me get into the weeds a bit and explain. In Japanese temples in particular and temple gardens around Kyoto, you won't find Ilix crenata cloud prune trees. The primary aim of a Japanese garden is to recreate the landscape. What they will primarily use is evergreen trees and in Japan evergreen pines. These evergreen pines are primarily Japanese black pine, red pine and white pine. They also use certain types of juniper as well but they would almost never use this Ilix Granata. So why am I using Japanese holly? It's definitely been a very trendy kind of Western fashion to use it. And the best uh, reason that I can give for it is because it's a very quick growing tree. It's a very hardy tree um, and you can really go wrong with it. And you can get an effect in quite a short period of time. It's a little bit more difficult to get um, with the uh, pines that the Japanese use. However, the concepts are pretty much the same and I think that it's a great way for a beginner to start out on their Japanese gardening uh, journey and to get a very Japanese looking tree in quite a short period of time. So why cloud pruning? Again, I hate using the word cloud personally. I prefer to use the word pad because once again in Japan you're using pines and they look far more like a pad. The reason we use cloud in the West is because we use trees like Ilix Konata and because we use it, it does begin to resemble a, crowd, a cloud, their pads, and hence where the phrase cloud pruning comes from. So, how to begin? Right now, in the West, there's a big problem with box blight, uh, where box trees uh, are being uh, killed via a caterpillar, um, and so they're being replaced uh, by something which uh, is immune to this, and that's Ilix crenata. This is great news for people trying to recreate a Japanese garden because it means that they've been planted uh, nurseries up and down the country and it means they're very cheap because they're used for hedging. As a result, you can often buy six or seven small plants uh, for very little money indeed. So my advice is get down your nursery this spring and go and buy them. Once you've bought them, the first thing we have to do is we have to prune back in order to create an interesting trunk. Now what do I mean by this? Let me give you an example of one I did last year in autumn. Here, and I don't know if you can see this correctly, this was a hedging plant that I bought that was probably only half this height last year. The main trunk came from here, there was another element here, and there was another two pieces here. What did I do first? I removed all these branches in this main trunk in order to make this plant travel to the right. The alternative way of doing this, if you wish, is you can create a very straight tree and in two to three years time repot it on a diagonal. Because once again we're looking for some interest in the trunk and so my advice to you is start with something looking diagonal. Now the longer term plan for this is probably to bend this round one way or another. You can do this using supports if you wish. For example in the larger tree behind me I have a metal support and a bamboo rod which I tie this tree to in order to create this S and I can bend this metal where I choose in order to create the effect that I want to. The alternative is not to do that and just allow the tree to progress and prune accordingly in order to create a more jagged looking tree. So it's now spring, what will I do with this tree? 
Well, the first thing I will do is that I do not want any of these lower branches down here because I want to see the trunk as this tree gets older. However, I may wish to see a pad out here, so I will keep perhaps this one, but I don't know. Maybe the pad should be this one here, so I'll keep both of them. So we get the secateurs and we take off this lower growth in order to reveal the trunk. Again, this is gonna be the basis for this new cloud prune tree. Up here, I know that I wanna thin this out, but I'm not sure whether I'm gonna use this as a pad, this as a pad, I'm pretty certain this one's gonna go. And so that's what I will do. I will come at this again in the summer and it will have grown and put on new growth throughout this trunk and here. And I will then either wire each of these into a position that I wish in order to create the pad, or I will prune further and I will do it once again in the autumn. So it's usually three prunings at this early stage, um, once in spring, once in midsummer, and once around the autumn time. And that's what we do. As they grow, you can then decide where you want these pads and you can then use shears if necessary to try and create the clouds that are so famous. You can also use bonsai wire in my case in order to make sure that this particular pad follows this particular route if that's what I wish it to do. And I can also use wire to tie something to a support, be it a bamboo pole or a piece of steel rod that I have here. One of the ways you can create this curve, it's just worth noting, is that without the steel rod is when it's still reasonably young as you press the tree down careful not to snap your new trunk um, is you can actually create that bend by pressing and tying it to a, a vertical stake if you don't have a support like this metal rod here um, this tree to give you an idea is around five to six years old the one i've just shown you is only two to three years old um, and you can see the speed at which this is created and some of these larger pads are really starting to take shape now. I reckon in another year's time, we will reach the peak up here, and then I will try and cap it and create, create the flat pad, and that will be the eventual height of the tree. Um, other than that, you can't go wrong with this. If you were to chop any of these branches in the future, the tree would not die, it would be absolutely fine. It will also bud quite often back, which is what you're looking for it to do. So when these pads do get too long, trim them, and you will see the buds will start to come out and help get a denser form of pad um, throughout the tree. Um, the beauty of this, an individual tree could be around £1.50 um, when you first buy it as a hedging plant. Within six years you will have this. Within ten you will have a tree that you will probably have to purchase from a nursery as a cloud prune tree for well in excess of £1,000. That's a decent return over a 10 year period. And given that you can do this with six or seven trees at a time, and it takes, I would say 10 minutes in the spring, 10 minutes in the summer, 10 minutes in the autumn, it's well worth doing. Start now, even if you have a balcony, even if you don't have your Japanese garden yet, but it's something you're looking for in the future, start with a pot on a balcony. And by the time, hopefully you do have your garden 10 years in the future, or if not a decent sized pot, you will be able to have a beautiful looking and very expensive to purchase Japanese cloud prune tree. Uh, as I said, that's the beginner's guide. That's Ilix Crenata. Um, I will do further videos, hope that it can help, and a bit more advanced stuff uh, when we move on to the conifers and the pines. I hope this helps. That's it.